Hello everyone, I'm Alex of Venom Machine Support, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set the price on a Dixie Narco 5800 drink vending machine, specifically the BevMax 3 or the BevMax 4. I'm going to show you how to set the price on each individual selection, an entire row or tray, or also the entire machine at once. Now if you found this video useful, I appreciate if you could like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Let's get started. Now the Dixie Narco 5800 drink vending machine or the BevMax 3 or the BevMax 4 is a 45 select drink machine. It consists of five shells with nine selections each. So that's quite a lot of prices that will have to be programmed. So to start programming the prices, you are going to press the service mode button one time. Now that service mode button can be found behind the monetary door in the upper back right hand corner. So we'll go ahead and open up the door and locate the service mode button. Again, I need to press the service mode button just one time. When I press that button, what will be shown on the display is service mode. Now, if you press that button, you don't have service mode. You can continue to press the mode button until you get back to service mode. So once we have service mode shown on the display, we can press A to advance forward to all the different menu options available to us. Or we can press selection button 7 to jump straight to the set price area. So I'll go ahead and press selection button 7. Now here I have set price. Now when programming the Dixie Narco 5800, we are going to be using our star or asterisk key as our enter or save key. So here I have set price. I'm going to go ahead and press the star key one time to enter that. And I'll present with one equals regular pricing with the bottom part of the screen showing some options I have. Now regular pricing is where 95% of most vending machine operators are going to be setting their prices with. There are two other options called secondary pricing and combo discount. I'm not going to be going over those in this video. I'm strictly going to be focusing on the regular pricing. So to enter regular pricing, we can press 1 to enter that, or again, we can press the star or asterisk key. So I'm going to go ahead and press 1 to enter regular pricing. Now here it says regular and a price on the display. So I'm going to start with the top shelf here, which I have several 12 ounce cans, and I want to set these to $1. So I'm going to go through and price each individual selection to show you how that's done. So the first thing to do is I'm going to press the CLR or clear key to clear out the price once I'm at the regular price. So I press CLR until I have 00 on the display. Now I'm going to create my dollar price. I'm going to key in 100. One zero zero, and now I have the dollar price showing on the display. And all I have to do here is enter in the selection that I want to be at a dollar. For example, a one top shelf left hand side, and then press the star key to save that. So I'll go ahead and hit a one, press the star key, and it says a one selection set. So that is now set to one dollar. If I wanted to do a two, I simply repeat the process. I press a two, and I press the star key to save it. And I continue on going all the way across the tray here, pricing each selection individually. Now I don't have to go in any sequential order. I can jump around to any other selections I want to be at that dollar price. I simply key in that selection. For example, at the bottom here on the bottom tray is the E tray, and we have E5 as another 12 ounce can. So I'm going to go ahead and program that to a dollar. I simply press E and then 5, and then I press the star key, and here I have that saved. Now the tricky thing about, or the funny thing about the, when programming this 5800s is if I want to change the price, so let's say I'm going to move to this highly caffeine green drink here found on C6, I want to program that to $1.25. So to do that, as I need to clear out all the way to get to that price. So I have to press CLR at this point, and when I do, it brings me all the way back out the set price. So it kind of jumps us out of the menu and we have to come back into the menu to price just that selection there. Again, I press the star key to enter that. It brings me back to the regular price. I need to press one to enter that. And here I'm going to clear the price out. So I press CLR until I have zeros on the display. At this point, I create that $1.25 price. One, two, five. And then here I need to press in C6, C6, and I press star. So now that green drink is now set for $1.25. Any other selection I want to be at $1.25, I'll wait key in those selections. For example, the top here, I got some of these other drinks here in a 16-point ounce bottle. Let's say B1. I can simply press B1, press the star key, and there we have B1 set to $1.25. So if you notice, I've got the entire top tray here is all the same product of 12 ounce can.
So instead of just going individually, I can price that entire tray at once if I wanted to. So let me do that now. I'm gonna go ahead and press CLR or clear. It brings me all the way back out to set price. So I need to enter back in. So I press the star key and I'm at one regular price. So I press one again here. And then here I need to create that price. Now I have a dollar price is already assigned. Okay, so if I needed to create this price, so hypothetically, let's just make this $1.50 on the top shelf. So I need to create that $1.50 price. So I press CLR. So I have zeros on the display. I create that $1.50 price, one, five, zero. All I need to do is I'm gonna press in the tray letter, which is A, and then I'm gonna press the star key. So I hit A, and then I press the star or asterisk key, and it says row set. So I've just set this entire row to $1.50. Could do the same thing down here. All I need to do, if I want this next tray row to be $1.50, I would simply enter in the tray letter, which is B. So I'll go ahead and press B, press the star key, and there we go. That is now set to $1.50. Now, we can go a step further. We can actually find what our most common price is in the machine. So let's say majority of my prices in this machine is $1.25. I can set the entire machine to $1.25 and then go back and change out just the individual selections or the individual trays. So let me show you how to do that. Again, we need to clear out. So I'm gonna press CLR. I'm back at the top level. I need to enter set price by pressing the star key. Then here's asking me one equals regular price. That's what I wanna do. So I press one. Here I need to create that $1.25 price. So I go to CLR to clear out the price. And then now I'm going to press one, two, five to create that $1.25 price. Then here, the trick for pricing the entire machine at $1.25 is I'm simply just going to press the star key. Here it says all set. Now everything in this machine is now set to $1.25. Now once you're done programming the prices, you can simply just close the monetary door, lock it up, and you're back in business. And here it says use correct change or press selection to see price. Now, if you found that video useful, I appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas of videos that you would like to see, please leave a comment below. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.